What's up you guys? Ollie from Duality Bars, back by popular demand to show you how to make a pina colada at home. It's still locked down, we're still stuck in the house. I got dressed up because this is the closest I'm getting to going out. So yeah, let's get into it. What you're gonna need is some rum. Here we've got some Havana Club. It's one of my faves, but you can use any rum you want. Try and make it a, a white rum, a light rum. You're gonna need some pineapple juice. It's a pina colada, so pina. And uh, obviously Tropicana, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm gonna want some of that sponsorship money, so hit me up. Uh, you're gonna need some coconut milk, because it's all about that Caribbean vibe, exotic. You've got the pineapple, you've got the coconut milk, you've got the rum, and uh, I've got a sweet tooth, so I'm gonna put a little dash, just a little dash of sugar syrup. You can use a bit of granulated sugar. Put it all together, we're gonna to make a beautiful drink, nice garnish, you can enjoy it at home. I know your holidays have been canceled, so just make this, it'll make you feel better, okay? Stick with me, all right, so we're gonna start with the cocktail shaker. We're gonna need a little bit of ice. So, let's get the ice in here. I'm using uh, large bits of ice, but you can use whatever ice you've got in the house, it'll be fine, so a few pieces of ice. Start out with the rum. So, 50 mil should do. This seems to be uh, broken, but uh, yeah, 50 mil of rum. Bosh in there. Coconut milk, it's to your preference. I like it like really creamy and just like tasting the Caribbean, but. Put in 25, 30, 40 mil, just do it to your taste. So I'm gonna put in a little, a little dash there. You can always add more in, remember that. It's one of my favorite sayings, because it's true. Pineapple juice, again, Tropicana, better have my uh, ad money. I'm gonna put like 50, 60, 70 mil in there. And then, just because I've got a sweet tooth, just a little, little dash, a little dash of sugar syrup. But yeah, you can put granulated sugar in there, whatever you want. Now, for the fun part, I would employ you, if you're gonna be shaking this, you're making a pina colada, you're gonna wanna play the pina colada song because it makes the drink taste at least 50 to 79% better. So, here we go. Pina, pina colada. Get it on. Nah, I'm sorry, I won't buy some stuff like that. I've got family watching. Can't do myself like that, but just give it a good shake. A real good shake. Get it. Woo! It's like I'm in the Caribbean, but I'm actually not. Just a shake. Slash curb edge, but you know. So yeah, you want to get it nice, and that's going to want a little bit more. So. Don't be afraid to just chuck it back in there and give it an extra shake if it needs, you know? Give it a taste. Always give it a taste and then you know, oh, that tastes like I'm on holiday, that's great. But I'm thinking a dash more, just a dash more coconut milk, you can't go wrong. So, let's give that one more shake. Oh, this is a workout in itself as well, guys, so let's get stuck in. Wallop. So that garnish, you're gonna want one of these bad boys, little, little pineapple leaf, but we'll worry about that in a second. Get some ice in the glass. Bosh. Bosh. And we're just gonna single strain that into the glass. Give it a little swirl. Oh, look at that. Woo! Let's do the stare and pour. Smoldering stare and pour. <laughs> Sorry guys. Here we go. This is gonna be great. Look at that, getting all fancy. Woo! that 
is looking great. So we're just going to slide that in there. And then maybe just a little, little pineapple for the edge of the glass there. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a lovely pina colada lockdown special. Pretend you're on holiday. I'm just going to give that a little sip. Just let you know, folks know how that tastes. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Right, I'm gonna go take this off, sunbathe outside and drink this. So, duality out. <laughs>